Yeah, yeah, there, there is, yeah. This one? It, it come back. It come back again, is it the yeah, swelling? It came back. Did it go off? It went off for a few weeks. A few weeks, ah, that's mm. pretty good, man. Okay, this is called the jaw abscess. A four-year-old rabbit stopped eating. He has two large left lower jaw swellings. What to do? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinarian educational video sponsored by Tupayo Vets. This video is about jaw abscesses in rabbits. Physical examination. Today is 30th July 2001. Okay, let's wait directly. Wait a little bit directly. Maybe in, no need. No, uh, just just wait the rabbit. No, uh, just wait the rabbit. No, the, okay, come let's see. Put down. They're quiet now. Okay, what's the weight? One point four one. Ah, one Okay, come come up. Okay. So you want to show me the the face abscess? Is it? Okay. Uh, uh, hold up, sit down. Okay, where? Um, under the chin. On the left side. Left side, yeah. Mm. No, no, the this side. side, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, there, there is, yeah. This one, it, it come back. It come back again, is it? That's yeah, swelling. Did it go off? It went off for a few weeks. A few weeks, ah, that's mm. pretty good, man. Okay, this is called a jaw abscess. Yeah. Ah. Jaw abscess, ah, normally there's something infected on the roots of the tooth. Mm. Did he tell you, Dr. Daniel? Yeah, the, the root of the tooth infected. Mm -hmm. So after treatment antibiotic it's okay again and come back again, you see. Yeah. Oh. So the the best is uh But he asks us not to press the because the jaw, the jaw broke or something. Uh, no, this jaw it says yeah. is is a pass from inside the jaw. Yeah. The the roots of the tooth are huh? infected. Mm -hmm. uh, ah yeah. So the the, the 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 cure actually is to remove the tooth, huh? but it's not easy. Huh? Oh. Mm -hmm. Extract the tooth. Uh, but you have to confirm by x-ray. He did surgery last time, but mm. it didn't take out. No, the surgery is just to drain here, you see? It just cut here. Did you cut here, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah. You cut here and then the pus come out. Mm. Yeah. And then uh, everything okay again for six weeks, right? Three weeks. Three weeks, huh? and then the the wound closes. Mm. Then the pus come back again, you see? Yeah. So that that is the not a permanent solution. Right. Huh? But then the other solution, you need to go for x-ray to see which tooth is, tooth is uh, affected. Is, yeah. Then with this knowledge, then go in and extract yeah. the tooth. Uh. Mm. Oh, that, that is the more permanent cure. Uh. Other than that, uh, then you keep on coming for this drainage uh, yeah. incision. You can eat, you can open the mouth, uh, put the, the leg down a bit. Uh. The teeth is still okay, uh, not overgrown. No. Not this is only the left side, right? The right side don't have, right? No. So this is called jaw abscess or uh, lower jaw, yeah. Diagnosis. This is the picture of the rabbit. Pointed out by the arrow are the jaw abscesses. Supporting evidence. X-ray. This is an X-ray of a normal rabbit's jaw. A normal rabbit has 6 upper cheek teeth and 5 lower cheek teeth. The root and crown of the teeth are dense. On 28 June 2018, an x-ray of the rabbit's jaw was taken. It can be seen that 2 upper cheek teeth and 1 lower cheek teeth are missing. The teeth are less dense too. The jaw abscess, pointed out by the arrow, was lensed and drained. As the rabbit stopped eating, the owners brought him back to the vet. Another X-ray was taken on 30th July, 2018. Pointed out by the arrows are two jaw abscesses. The root of lower cheek tooth 2 is also infected and has sunk into the cavity of the infection site. This X-ray shows that all its right cheek teeth have been extracted. When taking an X-ray, it is important to have two views, the lateral view and the ventral dorsal view. Supporting evidence Bacteria culture and sensitivity test. The abscess was sent for a bacteria culture and sensitivity test. The test result shows that the bacteria in the past was susceptible to amoxicillin and clovulanic acid, clarithromycin, erythromycin, penicillin, cefazolin, 
azithromycin and epicillin. These antibiotics are effective as treatment. So what is an abscess? An abscess is a swollen area filled with bacteria and pus. In this case, it's located in the jaw. Abscesses do not happen overnight and take some time to develop. Rabbits are popular pets. Jaw abscess is one common problem. Causes may include malocclusion, improper feeding, or insufficient hay. So what is the treatment? The treatment is surgical removal of the abscesses. This video shows surgical procedures. Viewer's discretion is advised. The rabbit was put under anesthesia gas via the gas mask. The vet made an incision at the jaw. A1 and A2 are the encapsulated abscesses below the lower left mandible. The encapsulated left lower jaw abscess, pointed out by the arrow, is exposed upon incision. The jaw abscesses are incised and drained. One cheek tooth has also been extracted. These are the capsules of the two abscesses removed. This is the extracted lower cheek tooth. The jaw of the rabbit was then stitched back up together. After the surgery, the rabbit recovered from the anesthesia. The owner came to collect it on the same day. The vet gave the antibiotics and painkillers after the surgery and to be brought home for post-surgery care. Conclusion 8 days after the surgery, there was no more jaw swelling. However, the rabbit is not eating on his own and his owners have to feed it critical care. Other cases Rabbits are prone to dental diseases. Such cases include facial abscesses, cheek abscesses, and gangrenous jaw abscesses. To learn more about other dental cases in rabbits, do visit the following link. Here are some tips and advices. Firstly, owners may opt for lensing and drainage. This is because financial costs involving dental extraction may be high. Sometimes, the decayed cheek teeth can also be extracted during drainage. Secondly, as supporting evidence is required for proper treatment, x-rays are needed. Thirdly, dental extractions are effective. However, it can be expensive. In this case, the previous vet had removed all right cheek teeth, causing the owners over $1,000 in cost. And number four, special dental equipment for rabbit is needed, especially to open the mouth for tooth extraction. These equipments are not suitable for other animals such as dogs and cats. For more information about these cases, do visit the following links. If your rabbit has any dental issues, feel free to contact Topayo Vets. For more information, do visit the following link.